Now we that hinge. You bent that hinge, by the way, now. Say to yourself, guys, how does it feel in your heart that you what you're doing here today? It's a bent, massively bent pen, that. Out of anybody, I would think, I saw a connection with Andy, I thought he had a bit of moral fibre. Ask you why you've not got uh, steel toe cap boots on, Andy. No safety eyewear. Breaching health and safety executive rules. Are you aware of that? Are you insured? Have you got training to be on a ladder? Health and safety gone mad, not being followed, no risk assessment, and the officers here. Absolutely outrageous. Why are you allowing this to happen? Why are you allowing this to happen? Why are you allowing British Gas to break into the property when it's over a monetary issue and not a health and safety risk? Well, they won't confirm that the, why? Why the warrant. Why are you allowing it to happen? Well, they haven't checked if the warrant is a criminal warrant or a civil warrant. He's that stupid here, the locksmith as well. There's another dog behind that. What for? I've just been told about <laughs> that. Someone told him. You've got to do all this again, Andy. <coughs> Andy, have you got a magic machine that takes screws out of doors? <laughs> and then the next door's going to be screwed up. As soon as you come through that other door, if you can get through that other door, the internal door's going to be locked. Wesley, you're spoiling the surprise. I'm going to go on and on and on all day. Why are the police British Gas, the corporation? It's, been, it's on record today, uh, Wesley, that the, the police officer said that she is here to assist British Gas. No, wh why are they here to assist? They're here to facilitate the corporations. They've well, ignored. They've ignored the Section 26. Protecting people fighting crime. You don't even know what the You're Section 26 is doing. Protecting corporations. You're fighting the people. Protecting crime and corporations. That's what you're doing. Facilitating the corporations. The corporations have got... Andy, you're taking... You're forcing that door now. You're causing damage. You're causing damage. You've got a civil case against Andy, yeah? Any damage you cause to that door, Andy, you details. won't be liable for. Andy's not identified himself. He could be uh, cashing in by British Gas. Have you got a business card, Andy, please? Who do you work for, Andy? Which company do you work for? Well, it's certainly not an established company, because he's no health Calvin and Klein, it says it on his pants. Hello, uh, officer, have you seen these health and safety risk assessments? Carried out by him or by... Andy, you know that this is wrong. You know that this is wrong. Officer, you have don't you work for, You don't work for Dino Lock. You don't work for a national company. You're just a guy that's been contracted. Well, it's like robots. Welcome to Germany. I can't believe this is like you're Germany. doing this, this is what guy. In I can't believe it. Is it really worth the hundred and fifty, two hundred pound job today? Because any future business locally, and you ruin me. No health and safety. No risk assessment. You are going to be held personally liable for this. Corporations will not defeat us. This is a civil dispute. A warrant's been obtained in a criminal jurisdiction. And this man here, I need to focus on you now. You purged Mr. yourself Colony, in court. Alan Colony. You purged yourself in court. The judge asked you on sworn affidavit. And what are you swearing today, Mr. McConnelly? You twisted your head and you looked at the solicitor who coerced you and talked you through your sworn affidavit. You swore on somebody else's statement. Now that is perjury. And that somebody else's statement was not signed. 
Struggling, Andy. What do you have to say to that, Alan? You pretty much the same you said to the, man, the judge when she asked you about the sworn statement. You was lost, you was fumbled, you didn't know what to say. But there's no solicitor here to coerce you today, Andy. Um, Alan. Alan. I'm getting, there's so many. The name, is the name badge there? Many, it? Plus it could do. But what's yeah, you and is well. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I watched this now last week. I watched what you did in court. And she, when you swore your oath last week in court, she then waited for you. To, to carry on, and you stood there, you stood there, and she's like, come on, give it to me, what, what's your statement? Through the window, mate. <laughs> you didn't have a sworn statement, did you? Listen, there's another door right, like that. He'll still survive an impact. Is that a yes, you will? Sorry? Is that a yes, you just indicating that yes, they will get in. Have you got a magic, have you got a magic? Bit of health and safety going whoa, on. Whoa, whoa. What's going on there? Safety. Something Hold on. Safety now. You're now. You're now actually. You're now assisting some workman, and you've not got health and safety gear on. You've got trainers on as well, Alan. The safety boots. Okay, I'll take your word for that. You're not stand back. You've not got safety boots. Well, why should we stand back? You should be concerned that we haven't got property. safety clothes well, on. That's why I'm asking you if you stand back. You're on private property, you shouldn't be breaking okay. in anywhere. You're trespassing and you're breaking and entering over a monitor dispute. You should be more concerned about this. The monitor dispute as well? Money, monitor. You you what? You're saying it's money to value that you won't? Well, you've got anything. a warrant under the I'm, 1954 Act. I don't want anything. If the police have liked to look at my bundle, they'd say, I'm going to get your bundle then. What? I think it's silly. to delete the first couple of films uh, so while we're up there at the top all those deletes there should be two three of them um so he can just record more on that It's not doing it for me. delete the first two because the, the SD the card's menu, full. Probably. The SD card's full. Give them to, right. to ban the SD and the oh, computer. Yeah. And it's it's full for it if I mess it up. <laughs> no. Cameras, yeah. Ten hours, that. <laughs> not been ten hours yet, has it? And the year before, 30,000 vulnerable people died because it was either putting food on the table, pay the rent, council tax, <laughs> or heat their homes. How proud do you feel? And when you've got the judges saying, well, you're lucky they're not cutting you off. When these prepayment meters go in and you can't afford to put money in them meters, you can't have gas or electric, can you? Therefore, you end up freezing to death. And that is what you're forcing on people of this country, of Great Britain. Where 
Where's the great rock gone in Britain? Where's the great grunt, Mr. Connolly? I wonder where you've told to me. <laughs> well, it's going to be my will against yours, isn't it? So, see who's got the biggest will. I know I've got the biggest heart. Why don't you come through the window? Mr. Connolly? Is that health and safety? It's a belly, it's a belly thing. <laughs> I can't believe you actually stood there watching this after we've explained to you. Have you ever looked at the paperwork? Refuse to. Check with your sergeant to make sure that we're announcing the truth. Health and safety only. only. This is a civil dispute. They've got health and safety certificate there, you know. They're breaching procedure. They should go through the civil courts. So why have you not talked about with Michael Groves? Oh, you keep going on about Michael well, Groves. Well, I mean, you, got, know, it's funny, it's you think I've got a Groves. direct contact Listen. number for him, Michael Groves? Have you? He's clued up on oh, solar panels, on. by the way. He's clued up on the solar panels. The engineers will be. The engineers. Will these prepayment meters work with the solar panels? Can you give a guarantee to prove that? Yes, we've got plenty of customers that have them in. <laughs> well, yeah, we've got some proof on, on you now because it's just here. Well, you're just, you're just saying it's your, your, your word against. We don't, we don't know. I've never known anybody with solar panels to have a prepayment meter, and I used to work for the solar panel company. Meters are not compatible to the solar panels. You see, it's the whole object, doesn't it? And also, defeats the damage as well. It leads to the solar panels. Right. Are you back with more tools? You've got your work boots on yet, Andy. You know what, what this has turned into for you, Andy? It's turned into you're being determined. You're just determined to get this job done. Instead of listening to your heart, you know this is wrong. You know it's wrong. Is your career... Do you think you're going to get loads of contracts off British Gas? On the back of this, why have they not gone to? Why have they not gone to Dynalocks? They've employed. Is it, is it not working, Andy? They've employed a, an independent locksmith. How much are they paying, Andy? He's damaging the door, Andy. So it's damage, Andy. What are you doing? Criminal damage being. Uh, you could fix it all now, I guess, and go home. I spoke to him earlier before he did this, and I saw I connected with him, and uh, he Can't sort of. People who were just trained to take well, away I sort of saw the moral side of Andy, and, uh, and then he had a word with Alan. Is it not working, Andy? You're going to strip that. Have threatened him with more work loss. This could be a girlfriend next week, Andy. It could be her all next week. With my property being under siege now, am I allowed to entitled to protect my property? Remove these people off my property now. Yeah. Number one, the trespassing. Number two, the forcing entry on criminal warrant for health and safety grounds, which is over a monetary dispute. Am I allowed to remove them by force? It's necessary, officer. Ask it for your advice. Please I'm not going to give you advice. Is it not working, Andy? It's going to take two minutes to move them through the The door's dropping, it'll touch me from once again. Mate, there's internal bolts all over it. <laughs> you need a bit. It's falling orders, though. You need a bigger tool. Oh, that's, 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 that's certainly going to cause damage. Do not do that. That's criminal damage. That's criminal damage. Now you're going criminal beyond damage. your remit. Criminal, criminal. He can only drill the locks. He's carrying burglar tools there. And he's doing his job. Good on you, Andy. Well done, mate. What's the difference between a burglar and him? He's getting paid for it. Don't you think he's getting paid for it? He's getting paid for it. 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 He's get
take a private prosecution out against you. He will, you know, and, uh, and one, one, one locksmith had to pay £9,000 in damages for doing exactly what you're doing. We've got another locksmith. All we're waiting for is identity. And then he's got a private plane coming his way as well. You've tried that, and it didn't work last time. Mate, have you heard that, that expression, you are pissing in the wind? <laughs> <laughs> you are pissing in the wind. That sounds like damage, Andy. Shouldn't you have some eyewear on there, Andy? Yeah. Obviously, Shouldn't you have some protection for your eyes, Andy? He's breaking the door. He's breaching the peace. And not only that, he's got another door to get through. And then another one, and another one, and another one. Are you alarming the discretion? That could be a Section 5 public disorder. But I'm more concerned. I'm more concerned about this guy's eyes. He could blind himself. Yeah, you, you need the proper safety equipment for this. He's up a ladder. He's got no goggles on. He's, he's hammering away. He could do himself a serious injury. I'd be surprised if Andy gets any more contracts ever again. The way he's still going on this door. <coughs> he had a calmer Andy. Gas. Certainly not a precious guy. Right, can you see what's going on there? This is our. Hello, Hello. Live, Andy. You're live. Hello, Andy. Hello. Hello. Andy. Live on the They're party. breaching our human rights. He's a burglar. Mate, he's a burglar. What are you doing? He's a burglar up the ladder. He's being burgled. You're not going to stop this from happening. No, they said they wouldn't be assisting British Gas today. She told me that. There's uh, the great Alan Connolly. Otherwise known as Twinkle Toes, I believe. Yeah, we believe you've got an alias, Twinkle Toes. And actually, Alan, if you look on the last video where, where Alan featured, he actually says at the end to Wesley Army, I look forward, I look forward to coming to do the same to your eyes. I put it to you, Alan, that you've chosen this job, you handpicked this job because it's Wesley Army. Look at the internet here, look, you're going all over the world now, live broadcasting. Come on, show your ugly face on camera. You're not having much luck there, Andy, are you? Come on, Alan. You're going to show us your face or what? Can I see your ID, by the way? Has anybody asked for their ID? Yeah, that's my ID. 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 Yeah, that's my ID.
It's already been served the note. Anyway. Section 2-2 two two of the 1954 Jazz Act. You've got to make good. Any damage... It's not working, is it, Andy? Andy? It doesn't have to be on the warrant in legislation. It says under the Gas Act, you've got to make good. Any damage, make good any damage or pay compensation. Compensation. Mm. Compensation. I like, I like that word. I can see a lot of a, a lawyer can put a lot of knots on the end of uh, compensation. I hope Andy's got insurance for the claim that's going to come. Are you back down the ladder? Have you given up? It doesn't appear to have moved much since the last attempt. You're not going to do it until you know. You've got, you've got the biggest heart in the world against the corporation. <laughs> time and time again. Andy lost his heart when he accepted this job. Soul, have you got a bigger driver? Is that going to work this time? Andy finds it so <laughs> Andy, Are you just wasting time on this job? Time is money. Why don't you just... I just said to the officer there... It's almost been the two hour locksmiths. Are you going for a record here? He can pull that out with his fingers. He's just wasting time on this one. He's, he's, on, he's on it by the hour. They're games up now. They can't facilitate the corporations anymore. It's incredible. Oh, 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 that slid into the door. That nice big chunk out of the door there. Have you ordered the new UPVC door? They are not allowed to do what he's doing now. Yeah, yeah. And the police officer there is smiling. Oh, yeah, you're all smiling. It's the smiley, but they're not allowed to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pull that off, mate, please. Bobby, right. pull that off. Said, oh, you yeah, know, I'm yeah. getting a bit off. The only people looking for a search is the police yeah. under a criminal yeah, warrant. Yeah, yeah. That's why I was saying down there, why, why don't the bottom You're good, man. Sony. I don't want a minute of these. Yeah, somebody took everybody's numbers. Slow motion. <laughs> Could take some I'll time. I'll deal with you, Andy. <laughs> you walk away from this job now, and this footage will not go to Health and Safety Executive. Yeah. Is it worth that much to you? Is it worth that much? What are you on? Two hundred quid today? Well, they're paying you in gas. <laughs> and what? Uh, I can, uh, it's just not even funny, though. You nearly there, yep. Yeah? Sounds like damage, that, you know. Listen to it, please. There's another door on the back of that. So it's just moved up. So you think, and how are we going to get to the engine? Because the engines are on the correct side. We'll try. You know, that damage the door. You know that. 
It's I've not got... working. Give up on that, eh? Try the other door. I've That'll be easier. I've got faith. You, tr you, you tried? Mate, try the other door. <laughs> Do you think it's a coincidence that last year, Alan, that you said that you'd look forward to coming and doing the same thing to Wesley Armour's house? I'll put a link in the right. video to right, it. I've got a peaceful idea. A peaceful idea. I've got a caravan. Right. Right. Alan's hand picked this job for him. He's waited till it's come up and he's here. He put a flag on the attempt. Because he made a promise last year on video. I look forward to coming doing that to your house, he said. You know he's here. Is this a record on a one hinge? You don't think someone's super glued it in, do you? That looks like damage to the door, Andy. Are you sure you like to do that? Yeah, Steve, have you got all the police officers' names? Yeah, we've got the badge numbers, like, so we can get the names from that. We've got names, do we? Yeah, we've got them all. Cut, 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 All I know is Alan Connolly put it on his songs because he didn't want to take responsibility. That's all I know. But British Gas is a corporation. Yeah, yeah, a is that done now? British Gas is a corporation. Are we going? 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 Are we Alan personally or just a That's Andy, isn't it Andy having those holes there makes your job easier. Off anyone for personal prosecution if you know right, mate. Right. There's that locksmith in Accrington area. We're just waiting for his ID coming through and there's a nice claim just all sat waiting for him. And he'll be paying out nine grand like the other locksmith had to. It's fun day working, isn't it, Andy? Why don't you just buy one of them red keys at the police shoes? It'll make it so much quicker. Hey, what's school? Because he's, he knows there's a lot of it. Because you're not allowed to damage go, the door. He can't go past drilling the locks or picking the locks. But if there's a warrant, why can't he use the red key? Because the warrant's not in the they're door. Not, they're not allowed they're to not damage the door, door. simple so as. It's a game, is that what you It's me? a game, yeah. Is it a pantomime? A circus. Right. And these are the clowns. I'm just waking up to all this information. That might have been important, Andy. You should take it. Mm. Time is money. Might be another job. Yeah, the British gas on the line for you did such a sterling job on this one. I don't think Andy will be getting another job with British gas. <laughs> Do you think they'll care about you, Andy, when you stop getting any work? Do you think British gas will actually care about you? That you, you're losing jobs? Have they got you on a zero hour contract yet? Yeah? Walk well, away from it. Zero hour contract. Have you got any morals? If you've got a... Oh, you're back down the ladder. Have you given up now, Andy? If you've got any moral fibre, you'll walk away from this job. It must be uh, hot in that coat. I'd, uh, I'd take the coat off. It's not raining anymore, Andy. It's not going that way, isn't it? It must have been. Andy, yeah. Yeah, go on, for Take it. You, you, need, you need moisture. You can't have them de dehydrating you on a hot day. You've got a lot more doors to Just go through than that, Andy. Door now. Can you climb fences? Do you know whether you can climb fences, Andy? Have you given up on this door, Andy? Are you you have damaged that. You've got significant that. damage to that you door. You need to get a grip, mate. Do you know if you do you any further fence, damage, fence. you're personally liable. Can you climb a fence? He wants, he wants to give up on this door. He's damaged, he's, he's damaged the frame. Damage as many doors as he wants. He's going to be personally liable for it, as Mr Connolly stated.